In this video, we'll cover rescale factor and how it can be used to make your applications more intuitive. By using a rescale factor, you can change the units of your motor controller to something more useful to your application. The easiest way to explain rescale factor is through example. Here, we'll use the STC1000 stepper controller, which has default position units of 16th steps. In this example, we will convert that into units of degrees and rotations. Let's start with degrees. Right now, we know if we change the position by 1, the motor will move by a sixteenth of a step. But what does that actually mean? Well, if you check the sticker on the side of your motor, or its data sheet, you'll find the step angle of the motor. In this case, it's 1.8 degrees. This means the motor moves 1.8 degrees for every full step. If I take my 1.8 degree step angle, and multiply it by my sixteenth step default, I get a rescale factor of 0.1125. So now I can enter my rescale factor of 0.1125, and my motor units are now in degrees. Now that we've calculated a rescale factor for degrees, let's move on to rotations. If you take your 1.8 degree step angle, multiply it by one rotation per 360 degrees, multiply it again by our 16th step default, you get a rescale factor of 1 hundredth, or 0 0.0003125. If I now enter my rotational rescale factor, The motor's units are now in rotations. If you have any further questions about how to use Rescale Factor, or ideas for future tutorials, please leave a comment in the comment section below. For more general inquiries, please check out our website.